Tanglefoot. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Boats Reviews. Um, tonight I have got a bottle of Tanglefoot from the uh, Badger Brewery down there in Dorset on the south coast. Um, they're a really good brewery. I've tried some of their stuff before and they do one called the Cranbourne, the Cranbourne Poacher which is a standout fruity ale for me. It's fantastic, it really is good. Um, Tanglefoot, I've not tried before. No, I have tried, but I cannot remember. I have tried it, definitely. I've definitely tried it because I've got a, I got a selection pack of the, um, of the Badger Brewery stuff. I did try one as well, what was it? The Blanford Fly, it was ginger flavored. Oh, fuck me, that was disgusting, but, I was pretty drunk when I tried this, so I can't remember. So I'm going to review it again, revisit it again. Um, the name Tanglefoot, they make up some spill in the back. Tanglefoot, from what I've what I've been told, I went to see. The, there's a band called the Wurzels. They're like a joke band, novelty band from the UK. They do uh, a couple of great tracks. They're, they're funny. They're hilarious. They don't take themselves seriously, and that's why I like them. And they're from Somerset. And there was a band supporting them. I think they were from Somerset or Dorset, one of the two, I can't remember. But he explained to me that Tanglefoot meant when you'd had a few beers and you got on the dance floor, you're trying to impress a girl and you fall over yourself and basically fall on the floor. The term is, oh, he's got Tanglefoot. So that's where that comes from. That's what I've been told anyway. That could be a complete and utter load of nonsense that some yokel was telling to some cockney wide boy. But there you go, that's life anyway. So let's get this open and let's see what it is. It's a gold now, it's 5%, it's in a 500 milliliter bottle. There is the cap. They do a very nice cap on these, the Badger Brewery. Based down there in Dorset. That is a nice cap, I do like that. What is this saying? Oh, there's some malt in there, yeah. Some strong malts, some toffee and caramel malt, and uh, not a lot else. I'm not getting much out of that. Let's get this in the glass and see what's going on. As I say, this is a, what they term as a traditional golden ale, so that could mean absolutely anything. But there it is in the glass. It's not bottle conditioned, so there is a little bit left in there. Get that out in a minute. This is slightly chilled. Um, it's it's an amber colour or golden golden amber colour. One and a half finger head, light carbonation. Hmm. Getting more a little bit more hop on there now. There's some earthy hops, typical British hops there. The malt's still coming through. But let's get this uh, let's get this down the hatch. Cheers. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, it's not bad at all. There's some sweet biscuit malt on that, but the hops are there. You can taste them hops, and it's and there's almost like a there's an earthy little bit of spice on there as well. Um, but it's nice. Them malts are 
Really nice. Oh, it's good. Tastes really nice. You get a little bit of malt initially, then them hops come through. You're getting like a <clears throat> some bitterness, some earthiness to the hops. I don't know what the hops are, they don't say. But then all of a sudden, the malts come back with a vengeance. And it's very biscuity, very caramel. And it's really nice. It leaves a very nice arse end on the beer. That makes it a little bit moorish. Oh, I do like that. Then malts. It's like a digestive biscuit. With a little layer of caramel or toffee on the top. More caramel. And that's what's making it moorish. Very nice indeed. I'm really liking that. There was another one from the Badger Brewery as well that they had in there called Thirsty Ferret. Um, I've had that before. And again, I was a bit too incapacitated to appreciate that. And I saw it today on the supermarket shelf in a clear bottle directly under the light. And I just thought that just looks like it's going to be skunky to me. Um, having tasted this, I'm probably going to get a bottle of that and try it. I'm hoping it's not going to be skunky, but this is really nice. It's very drinkable. You couldn't session it because it's 5% and it's a 500 milliliter bottle, but it's going down very nicely indeed. I like that a lot. I'm going to give that a solid 8 out of 10 and I'm going to recommend that because that is really good. The bolts just stand out on that. It's just, I don't know what they've put in that. Probably dark chocolate, crack cocaine and nicotine because it's making me just want to drink it more and more. Obviously they've not put that in there, so don't take that literally. Um, oh, it's so good. Eight out of 10 and definitely recommend it. And I'm liking this brewery. Um, that Cranbourne Poacher, I'm gonna get hold of a bottle of that and review that because that is amazing stuff. That is a really, really nice dark ruby ale. Um, the Thirsty Ferret, I'm gonna chance that. The Blandford Fly, I'll get hold of a bottle just to revisit it because when I tried it last time, it was repulsive. But maybe there were other forces at play when I tried that. But this is really good. Eight out of 10, recommended. And remember, life is too short to be drinking shitty beer.